Hello, hello, hello. So I get asked this quite a bit. What do we do if we have a low yield on our well? So let's get into it. So right here we have our inlet line with our check valve that goes right straight to our buffer tank and our constant pressure system. So this type of system is going to use a little transducer, which is that silver thing right there, that's going to actually read the pressure in the pipe and turn the pump up or down depending on the demand. So this is going to be our supply side. When you have a low yield, it's very important to make sure that you also have a storage tank. So we're going to have the water that comes in from the house. That little control box is basically just going to tell us if the pump's on or not. We see the arrows are uh, going up, meaning the pump is actively running. So the water will come into the home through the well, through the sediment filter, and through some of the other water treatment. It's very important that if you have a storage tank that you do treat the water prior to putting it in the tank so we can get a little bit better uh, quality of the water, right? So we see all of our treatment right here. The water is going to go through these pipes up over to the other side and into the storage tank. Storage tanks are a good idea uh, because basically it makes it where your lower yielding well can actually run a little bit over a longer period of time and then you don't really see any kind of service disruptions in your home. Generally these tanks are going to be about 300 gallons but we can see here that we're going to go up and over to this guy. This guy's are going to be storage tank, right? So the water will come in through over here, fill this tank up, and then on the bottom, you're going to see the pipes that go through to an inline pump, which is going to push the water back into the home, repriming everything. Basically, this is just a big version of a well pump that would be in the well. Similar concept on this side, we're going to have the uh, buffer tank, which basically means when you turn on the sink, it doesn't drop to nothing, then speed up. The control panel is going to read the pressure in the pipe, so that way it knows how fast to make that inline pump go. we got our main water shut off there. And then it's always important that you have a UV light whenever you have a storage tank. The reason why is stuff can get into that storage tank that could potentially get you get you sick. So you always want to clean up that water before it goes. These systems are big, so if you do have a low yielding well, if you don't have space, this setup is not going to work for you. But it's a very efficient way of doing it, and it makes it to where you can have a low yielding well perfectly support a family of four without any real interruptions. If you enjoy content like this, please hit that like and subscribe button. Till next time, guys.